I'm here with Jean Fra the <laughs> Jean Francois Dupra. We're here at the You're Not Alone event and uh what are you up to these days, Jean Francois? You're always up to lots of interesting stuff. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a really busy, interesting year. Um I was still doing a bit of a construction job for the last year, but then I hurt my back again, so I had to transition. But I really started to do some public speaking since last January and it's been uh taking me on a really inspiring, amazing journey. So I've done lots of uh, public speaking in different uh, Francophone uh, school in Alberta and BC. I went to Victoria as well. I've done some presentation in English. I do talk about my own story with depression. I talk about and share about my project, overcoming mental illness once some at a time. Um, so much has happened in the last year. I was selected as a Lululemon ambassador as well, which I, wow, I'm so grateful for. Um, I'm going to climb my next summit in two weeks, leaving for Argentina. I was in Russia this summer, so part of my project is to climb the seven summits. So the ice summit on each of the seven continents to raise mental health awareness. And yeah, really what my project is to um, inspire people to believe in their dream, their passion, and know that recovery is possible. So you know, I have a, I've been through two severe depression, or I think I've been depressed most of my life, to be honest. Uh, but I remember as a teenager, I went through a really dark time, uh, dealt with some addiction and I was arrested, uh, did a suicide attempt at the age of 19 as well. So, um, so I'm pretty familiar with the depression and then four years ago, it kind of came back in my life, but that's when I created my project and you know, Christmas can be a depressive time. I've been feeling a little bit low lately. I don't know what it is for me with Christmas or why, um, yeah, Christmas doesn't mean so much to me, but I really enjoy the new year. My birthday is coming around the new year as, as well. And that's what I really enjoy about at this time of the year. It's just, a, it's a new beginning. I mean, every day is, but the new year, now we're going to jump into 2020. Um, every year, I'd like to do a little bit of a recap, what I've done in that year, what I would like to, what, I, what are my wishes for this next coming year. And um, so, yeah, I've been, I'll be traveling to Argentina pretty soon. My family and I were going on five month trips to Southeast Asia. So we made some hard decision, sold our house, bought something smaller, get the money and now we can go. But uh, it's been a really inspiring, powerful year for me. Like there's been moments where I would just be at the gym and like, wow, is this real? Like so much has happened, but I worked towards it. And uh, I've met some really incredible people and I feel privileged to be able to uh, just to be myself simply, Jean-François, and be able to help people by sharing my own story. And every one of us has a story, whatever it's depression, divorce, whatever. I mean, life is about adventure. There's going to be ups and downs. And yeah, Christmas might be a low time. But just remember, whatever you might be going through at this moment, things can change. So it's up to you to make those decisions, to make those changes. Um, reach out. Reach out for help. It's definitely, uh, that probably is the best gift you can give yourself for Christmas. So what I would wish for everyone for Christmas is not so much about the material gift. I think that's why I don't like Christmas so much, but just be there for, for somebody you like. Just be there and reach out to a friend. If you know one of your friends is struggling, just get on the phone, take them for dinner, or uh, just reach out for yourself as well. Just go treat yourself to a massage or um, anything like that. That's what Christmas is about. It's about connection with people, family, taking care of yourself. I know it's... Uh, we are the most important person in life. So give yourself the gift of love and respect and just treat the, yourself like you deserve to be treated. Um, so yeah, lots has been happening this year. I'm uh, pretty grateful and I know there's gonna be a lot more coming out in 2020 and in the next years because I do decide to take ownership of my life and just, uh, just to be me, enjoy every single second of life. Thank you. Great stuff. Thanks for sharing. And yeah, I'm excited for your 2020 as well. You got a lot of things on the horizon. Yeah, busy year, but a good year. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks for coming today as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. And uh, all the best in for your highest and best in 2020. Yes, thank you. You're welcome.